gospel today, the Lord said, Amen. Amen, I say to you, if you ask the Father anything in my name, he will give it to you. That's quite a statement. It requires a lot of faith. And that is why we need every liturgy, every prayer, every Catholic devotion with the sign of the cross. By enveloping our prayer in the love of the cross, we put our prayer before the Father in the name of Jesus with the love of the Holy Spirit. This makes our petitions even more acceptable and pleasing to the Father as He is in the throne of grace. The cross is our sign of our redemption. People, when people want to wish to show something that's dedicated to the Lord, they mark it with a cross. The cross is placed on top of the church, it's placed on the Holy Gospel, it's placed on the sacred vestments, banners, it's placed over the graves of our loved ones. I see even students putting crosses at the top of their homework. Whenever we want to consecrate something to God, we use the cross. The first Christians used the sign of the cross for constantly. Tertullian, one of the early church fathers, says that every motion and every step, entering in, going out, and dressing, and bathing, and going to meals, lighting the lamps, sleeping, sitting, whatever you do, we mark our foreheads with the sign of the cross. Since Cyril Jerusalem says, let us not be ashamed to confess the crucified Christ, let us boldly make the sign of the cross on our forehead, on everything, on the bread we eat, on the cups from which we drink. Let it make us make the sign of the cross going in, and coming out, when we lie down to sleep, when we rise, when we go on a journey, when we rest. Because the sign of the cross is a great safeguard. It's given to the poor without price. It's given to the weak without work or labor. For this is the grace of God, a token for the faithful, and a terror to the evil spirit. St. John Christensen said, The sign of the cross is the type of our deliverance, the monument of liberation for mankind, the souvenir of the forbearance of Christ. St. John Christensen says, When you make the sign of the cross, remember that it has been given for your ransom, for you will be the slave of no man. Make the sign of the cross, not only with your fingers, but with your faith. And if you engrave it on your forehead, no man can spirit will dare to stand. It's a beautiful sign harkening back to the ceremony from baptism. Because at one point in baptism, the priest traces the sign of the cross on your forehead. He dares the devil. You ever dare someone? Maybe when you were a kid, I dare you. I don't want to dare you. Well, the church does that in the most powerful way. It makes the sign of the cross on a child's forehead and dares the devil to ever violate that sign of the cross. And St. John Christian says he sees the blade with which the, he has been wounded. He sees the sign of the cross on your forehead. So we make that sign of the cross frequently. We did until we just did it. As I read the gospel, we made the sign of the cross on your forehead, on your lips, on your heart, so that your heart and your thoughts be pure, good, and holy. The words of your mouth be always a blessing and a curse. And that the desires grace to never deny the cross. And the Father granted the, the martyrs the grace of martyrdom, the fidelity of the cross. And they asked in Jesus' name, they said their prayer for the Father, marked by the sign of the cross, marked by the sign of Jesus. And they received the grace for which they asked. The martyrs were made forth to battle with the wild beasts in the amphitheater. They walked calmly to the stake to be burned. They bowed their necks to the sword. Expose their bodies right to the last. They braved the terrors of the dungeon or went willingly into exile. Even tender virgins make children defile the power of retirements and suffer death. How? By the power of the cross. It is for us the sign of the cross is a safe love against temptation. St. Cyril Jerusalem says, Let us make the sign of the cross boldly, courageously. Because when demons see the cross, they are reminded of the crucified Lord. They 
take to flight, they hide what they leave. So the sign of the cross is in and of itself It's an appeal made to heaven in the name of the one who in submission of the will of the Father humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Of him who declared if you ask the Father anything in my name, he will give it to you. So let us not make the sign of the cross careless or thoughtless or too much of a rush. Sometimes people are coming into church late and dip their head in the holy water and do something like that. They look like they're sliding flies. St. John Persistent says when we do this, the demons rejoice. They say they call it a frantic waving. That's what St. John Persistent calls it. Stop. I'm in the church late. Still, that sign of the cross is a sacred moment. It's the first prayer you say as you enter that church. As you come before the Lord, you call the cross. And so, if you make the sign of the cross praise with faith and reverence, that will dispel the demons. It will calm down our sinful passions. It will bring down the grace of suffering. It will give us strength to do good and conquer whatever is evil in the name of Jesus, in his mighty name. So let us never be ashamed of the cross either. Let Christ be ashamed of us. When you're in public, when you're at Wendy's and you're having lunch, make the sign of the cross. Say the blessing. Don't hide your faith. We hide the sign of the cross, the devil rejoices. The sign of the cross stamps the unity of God on our forehead, the seat of the mind. The sign of the cross seals our heart and our breast with the remembrance of the love of the Father, and it strengthens our shoulders to bear the cross of the It maintains an unbroken union of love with the three divine persons by the means of the Holy Spirit. So, dear friends in Christ, make the sign of the cross constantly throughout the day. Fathers of the church exhort us to put it on everything. When you have your glass of milk, sign of the cross, put it on that milk, bless that glass. Bless your forehead, bless your lips. Maybe at the moment you want to say something too hurtful or gossip. Seal the moment, seal it. Love, let those lips be closed. Other times you might need to put the sign of the cross to open those lips. Just be a word of encouragement. Charity. Word of exhortation. So let the sign of the cross permeate your prayer life. Let it bring it back. Let it make it alive. Sanctify the day with the sign of the cross. It's a powerful prayer. Sick means to pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. Because the day in the gospel of the said, Ask the Father anything in my name, and I will pray it. Ask using the sign of the cross. For it is the sign of Jesus. Crucified, but also the one who rose gloriously in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.